Hi guys, it's Tasha, and I'm back with my first fall tutorial this year. This is the Cozy Wool Sock Nail. Step 1. Apply white gel polish to the top third of the nail. You're going to want to put this nearest the cuticle. I'm using Ugly Duckling number 44 gel polish, but all of the items and products that I'm using in this video will be listed throughout the video and in the information bar below. Once you've applied the white gel polish, you're going to cure. Okay, on to step two. You're going to apply dark gray gel polish to the rest of the nail. I'm using Ugly Duckling gel polish in number 11 for this um, part here. This is a great gray for these uh, traditional wool socks. So I'm applying a nice even coat of this and then I'm going to pop it in the lamp for a cure. Step number three is perfecting the line where the white and gray gel polish meet. I'm using Ugly Duckling's number 44 gel polish, which is our crisp white, and I'm using my favorite brush, which is our Detailer 2, just to go ahead and make sure that line is even, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be putting stuff over top of it anyways, but you don't want it um, crooked or on a slant or anything like that, and then you're going to cure. Step number four is an easy one. We're just going to go ahead and apply the second coat of white and gray gel polish to the nail and then you're going to cure um, in between each color though so you're not blending anything and keeping those lines nice and crisp. So apply white, cure, then apply the gray and then cure again. Okay, step number five. I'm using my striper brush here. I believe this is striper brush number two and some red gel polish and I'm going to paint two red lines horizontally across the white section. So I'm doing the first line here and then I'm going to leave a gap and then I'm going to do the second line. The gap that I leave is about the same width as the uh, red lines that I'm painting. So I'm going to go ahead do the second line here and then I'm pop it in the lamp for a cure. Alright, step number six, you guys can see here, unfortunately I smudged my red a little bit going into the lamp, but that's okay because we're going to cover it up. So all I'm doing here is sealing it with matte, I'm going to put it in for a cure, and then I'm going to remove that inhibition layer, and then we're going to hop on to step number seven. Alright, step number seven. Now you guys can see here I've sped this up a little bit for you because I was taking my time doing these lines and it was taking far too long. So I don't normally work at the speed of light like this, <laughs> but it's just for the video. So I'm using the same striper tube brush. I've loaded it up with some white gel polish and I'm painting vertical lines in the white section only, making sure I do come slightly down to the gray though. Then I'm picking up the gray, which is number 11, and I'm starting where the white line ends and completing that line all the way down, continuing it down the length of the nail. So it looks like it's one continual line. Once I've got those lines in place, I am not going to cure. Please don't cure this. 
because now we're hopping on to step number eight and here we are sugaring that wet gel polish that's what's going to give this nail that fuzzy kind of wooly look um, so go ahead sugar you're going to want to keep adding clear acrylic until you don't see any wet gel polish anymore then you're going to pop it in a lamp to cure and you're going to wipe off that excess acrylic powder Step number nine, okay, I'm taking that red gel polish and my striper two brush and I'm going over those red lines that I originally painted and I'm going over the white lines as well that we just sugared. So just painting right over what we just did. Um, and then I'm going to pour more clear acrylic over that red just so to make sure that it's sugared and textured also. And then I'm gonna pop it in the lamp for a cure. Dust off that excess powder and your cozy little wool sock nail is complete. I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you recreate this look for your clients this winter, please be sure to tag me on Instagram. I love seeing your recreations. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hey, let's be social. Find me on Instagram at Natasha Harton.